everybody this is Eve of Queen Bee Crafts and today I'm gonna do a whip and chat with y'all um, if this is your first time here thanks for stopping by super appreciate it um, look for lots more diamond painting content coming on this channel um, you'll see I have some floss tubes up um, each of those or I think two of those three um, have diamond painting content in them as well, um, but I think I want to start trying to separate those videos from each other. So this will be my first diamond painting, oh, completely diamond painting video, um, and hopefully in the next couple of weeks I figure out what's the best way to to do both of those crafts on my channel. So today we're going to do a Diamond Art Club stickers, sorry, not stickers, ornament kit. Um, this, I believe, came in the advent calendar last year. Um, so I'm just gonna pop this open real quick, get out all of the supplies. So I got everybody. Okay. I apologize for the crinkles that this is going to make. Come out. Okay. So I have all of our little guys out. There are three ornaments in this kit. There's a gingerbread, there is a tree, and there's a snowman. They're all super cute. Um, I think I'm going to pull the plastic off of all of them and do them simultaneously while we chat today. Um, because they're little and it shouldn't take me a ton of time. They do come with the little, um, ribbons so that you can hang them on whatever you would like. Um, I think at some point I want to have a crafty tree, so these will go on there eventually, but I will put them on my Christmas tree this year um, once they're done. So I've seen a lot of people um, when they do whip and chats they talk about and what's been going on in their lives and you know things that are happening in the world maybe but since it is December now um, it is Christmas in my mind so we're going to do a Christmas questions tag um, I scoured the internet for one that I liked most of the questions for so we're gonna use this one is from Epic Tours Z. Um, and yeah, so let's get um, some of these colors out first. These kits are always so fun for me because they have the, the special specialty drills like these stars, they have these bigger um, bits, they have the uh, like crystals. So fun. So I'm going to start, I need a pair of scissors, we're going to snip off one. I'm going to start with one. Move drills up here. Um, this is just a bigger tray from Amazon, pens from Amazon, the placers are both from Diamond Art Club. And if I dump these guys in here, this is one right now. Okay. I probably need a Ziploc bag too for my leftovers. Oh, good, I have some here. And now we can finally get started. 
Um, so first question on this tag, if these want to come off, come off, come off, come off. One, two, and three. All right, first question. When do your decorations go up? Um, it has been different every year for the last couple of years. Um, typically, I put uh, decorations up either on Thanksgiving or the day after Thanksgiving. However, they went up like three or four days before Thanksgiving this year because um, we're not going to be here for a good chunk of December and for Christmas and I wanted to enjoy um, our decorations this this year for as long as possible so um, that probably won't be a yearly thing that I put decorations up before Thanksgiving. I know some people are like, okay, Thanksgiving, or sorry, uh, Halloween is done, so it's Christmas now. That's not me. Uh, Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays, so I still like to enjoy it, but um, I did like having my decorations up for Thanksgiving. This year, it was... It definitely felt very festive, like much more festive than it usually does on, on Thanksgiving. So maybe like a couple of days before Thanksgiving going forward will be when I put those up. Um, so yeah, and that's that one. The second question on here is who is the Scrooge? In your family or your friendship group um, I don't know if there is anyone that I know that would be considered a Scrooge um, if if I was gonna say anyone I'd say my brother he's not anti Christmas but he's just not a very festive person in general and that goes for any holiday he's not like we're not into he won't decorate um, decorate for Halloween. He won't get dressed up. Um, he's not. He, you know, he's just he's a guy, very much a guy without um, a girlfriend to <laughs> motivate him to do holiday things. So I probably him, but at the same time he's you know he celebrates with us when you know we have thanksgiving when we have christmas he's not anti-holiday he's just not very festive in and of, in and of himself um number three if money were no object how and where would you spend christmas um this is gonna sound silly but the best vacation I have ever taken in my life was to Glacier National Park in Montana. And I know that it gets very cold and very snowy in the winter up there. But I would love to go back there. Um, so... That's always on my bucket list of places that I want to go. Um, that or, or abroad, like uh, England or Italy or hmm, one of those other European countries that um, I can just see in, in my mind that their decorations would be so beautiful and so fun and walking around maybe if there's like just a little bit of snow happening and oh my gosh that would just be 
so beautiful as well. So either Montana or somewhere abroad are where I would want to spend Christmas if money were no object. Uh, number four is who do you find the hardest to buy presents for? Um, I have two to answer this. Um, my dad is one of them because he has so few interests and being my dad, he has a lot of things already and a lot of things that he needs slash wants, he already has. So finding something that he doesn't have that he'll use is sometimes very tricky. The other person is my husband. I love him to death, but he is very much a instant gratification kind of person when it comes to purchases. So trying to find things for him that he hasn't already bought for himself is also very difficult. Um, I've been trying to tell him like, hey, like when it gets close to gift giving times for you, i.e. birthday or Christmas, you need to chill on buying stuff for yourself because you make it near impossible for other people to buy you things. I'm stuck to the tree. Ah, let go. <laughs> okay. Um, so right now I'm kind of struggling of what I should buy him for Christmas. Um, there's kind of a, a small list forming in my head, but then everyone keeps asking me what to get him for Christmas and I'm like, I don't know, I don't want to give you my ideas because then I won't have anything to buy him. <laughs> so we, we shall see what happens there. I, I don't want to be generic either because this is our, our third Christmas as a couple and our first as a married couple. So I want it to be special. So if anyone has any suggestions for a gamer, a PC gamer who also likes anime and manga and mechanic -y things, I would love to hear your suggestions. Okay. Question number five. What did you leave out for Santa when you were a child? Um, my family always did cookies and milk. This tree is just in my way. I keep getting stuck to him. Um, cookies and milk and either like a big carrot or baby carrots for the reindeer. Um, there were, as, as I got a little bit older, um, and my dad developed some sensitivities to, uh, lactose, uh, we stopped buying milk, um, and pretty much exclusively got either soy or almond milk. We started leaving cookies and soy or almond milk out for Santa, which I'm sure that he didn't appreciate, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, I do want to continue that for our kids in the future. Um, I know some parents who, um, they just don't believe in telling their kids stories like that, um, but I think that Santa is a great um, motivator, um, not just for um, good behavior, but as a lesson to teach kids like, hey, 
giving gifts is just as important as it's receiving gifts. Um, and it can be really moving and, you know, helps your soul <laughs> feel good each holiday season. If you also give out gifts to people and are not just greedy and want to receive things. So we, we will continue that in our household um, when the time comes. Um, so that was number five. Number six, where did you spend last Christmas? <sighs> last Christmas, I was... at my parents' house. I think. That sounds right. Um, my husband was deployed at that time, so I was living back home with my family um, so that I wouldn't be alone. And we did just a small family Christmas. It was just me and my sister, my brother, and my parents, and we hadn't had a small family Christmas like that in a long time, so it was, it was definitely fun to be together. I did miss my husband, um, mostly because the anniversary of us, like, dating is two days before Christmas, so, um, we didn't get to spend that together, which was totally a bummer. I'm really excited that this year we get to spend together. Um, so yeah, and my wax has just decided it is absolutely done. So let me quickly load this back up. And that is where I spent Christmas last year. This year, we are spending it with my husband's family in Texas, which I think I've already talked about. Um, and this will be the first Christmas that he's been home in three, three-ish years. Um, since we started dating, pretty much, he um, and uh, his dad is also a captain on a ship, or his cat, his dad is a captain on a ship, not also my husband is not, um, and so he's out a lot. And this will be the first Christmas in a long time where all of his family is back in the same spot. So that is exciting. So that is what we're doing this Christmas. Number seven is, do you have a real or an artificial Christmas tree? Um, we have an artificial Christmas tree. It is a seven footer. I would like to have a real Christmas tree because I love the smell of them. I love the look of them, but my brain cannot comprehend how to take care of one. And plus we can't put up a real Christmas tree before Thanksgiving because they don't exist for the most part before then <laughs> and if we tried to make it last that long it it was it will just not hang on that long so once we have the space to have a real tree I think I will still also put up our fake one um, hopefully we'll have enough space in our house to do that um, 
either that or we'll just hold on to our artificial tree um, and put it up on the years that either we're not going to be home for Christmas so we want you know some decorations up but I don't want to have to worry about watering it while we're away or something and I also want to get like a small tree that can go in my craft room I'm gonna get maybe one of the fun colored ones so that I can start displaying some of my arts and crafts uh, ornaments on it. So that's our my tree plans for, for this year and going forward. Number eight, which celebrity would you love to spend Christmas with? Um, that's a hard question since I don't really care or follow any celebrities closely. Um, I would say the only person that, like, I've ever cared about celebrity-wise is Matthew Lewis, who played Neville Longbottom in Harry Potter. Um, so, I guess him. <laughs> but at the same time, like, I wouldn't want to spend Christmas with a celebrity, but getting to, like, meet them and take a picture with them or something and have that be my Christmas card. I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, number nine is how are you spending Christmas this year? And I think I already answered this uh, before talking about going to Texas and spending time with my husband's family. Um, that includes his brother and his wife and their two kids and his sister and her fiance and their their little bitty baby um he was born in may and oh he's just the cutest little thing in the world i love him i'm so excited to see him again. The first time that I ever met him was at our wedding in June. And oh my gosh, he's grown so much since then. So I'm I'm really excited to see my nephews and my niece at Christmas. Um so yeah. Number ten, do you own an ugly Christmas sweater? Define ugly. Um I I don't think I own any ugly Christmas sweaters, but I definitely have a Christmas sweater that's like silly, nerdy, geeky. It's green and it's got every evolution on it. Um, if you aren't familiar with Pokemon and the Pokemon Eevee, it's got a uh, a bunch of different evolutions for pretty much every type uh, of Pokemon that you can have. And it's got them on there in uh, a really cool pattern. I don't know how to describe it. It kind of looks like Needlepoint, but it's not Needlepoint. Um, I might, I might take a picture of it and put it up on the screen just so you can, guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, it's, it's probably only ever been worn once. Um, my, my husband bought it for me the first Christmas we were together, I think. Um, because, you know, my name, Eve, and Evie, the Pokemon, just makes sense. So, I think I've worn it once in three years to a Christmas party thing that I had at work. And now it just sits in my 
under the bed storage bin for my sweaters. I actually need to, this is a side tangent, need to swap out all of my winter clothes from those bins into my closet um, in the next couple of weeks because it is getting chillier here and I am wearing more sweaters uh, daily. So probably need to, to switch those out here soon. So number 11, if you could be under the mistletoe with anyone, who would it be? <laughs> That's funny. I, well, I feel like someone who doesn't have a significant other might answer this differently, but uh, my husband, I wouldn't pick anyone else. Um, he is my best friend. He is my rock. He is been there for me through a lot of crazy stuff in the last three years. It's kind of remarkable to me that we've only been together for three years. It feels like a lifetime. So I, I am forever grateful to him for coming into my life when he did and being all Prince Charming and sweeping me off my feet. That sounds so lame, so cheesy, but it is true. I I wouldn't be who I am today without him. So, yeah. That is number 11. Number 12 is, have you ever had a white Christmas? Um, not in my recent memory. Um, where, where I lived in Northern Virginia, um, we sometimes would get light snow in December, but predominantly snowfall happened like in January or February. So I think we've only had like a true white Christmas maybe once or twice in my lifetime. And now that I'm living farther south and near the water, I highly doubt that's going to happen. Uh, from what I've gathered, talking to people down here, looking at past weather reports and things, um, if we if we get snow, it'll be uh, remarkable because uh, most of the time, snow down here tends to not stick or be be a lot. So that's. That's fun. I, my husband's a huge snow fan. Um, he was very bummed when he had to move from Connecticut to here and away from the the first Christmas that we ever had together was in Connecticut and we got, um, I think it was close to like 14 inches of snow. It wasn't on Christmas, but it was right around there. Um, and he was just totally in his element, enjoying being in the snow. I am not a cold weather person, so I quite enjoyed watching him be in the snow. But I, I said, no, thank you. And I stayed in the doorway and just took pictures of him and videos of him being a child and enjoying himself so we'll see what happens this year i know that there's it's an el nino or a la nina year um which i think is supposed to bring snow to this area like a significant snow but that's still up in the air up for debate and see what happens when the time gets closer. Um, number 13, do you use colored lights on your tree or white? Um, my own tree, I'd use white um, because I am a huge silver fan. So all of my um, Christmas baubles are silver. And I think that they look better with the white lights, just more clean and 
put together, uh, but in past years, um, our family has put colored lights on our, um, tree that we put all of our, like, family decorations. I say family, I mean, like, the ones that we either were gifted over the years or ones that we made when we were in school. Um, and then we also have another large tree that, um, has one of those, like, foot pedal clickers that, uh, you can cycle through a bunch of different, uh, light options. And one of my favorites on that tree is where they, like, slow fade from white to colored and colored to white and back. And that's probably the only time where I will actually, like, put on colored lights. Um, it doesn't happen very often. Oh, I just realized I missed some ones in the snowman's nose, so I'm going to quickly stick those in before I forget to do so. So, I'd like to know from you guys your opinions on Christmas tree lights. Obviously, if you don't celebrate Christmas, um, this doesn't apply to you, and um, if that's the case, let me know um, I'd like to know some different holiday traditions for um, for all y'all and what you do during the what I would say the Christmas season, but it's really just holiday season because obviously, Hanukkah happens around this time, Kwanzaa happens around this time, so I'd like to know what everyone celebrates and how you celebrate and what's some of those fun traditions that you do. Um, but for my Christmas celebrators, colored lights or white lights and why? Um, and that's actually the bottom of this tag, so I'm gonna keep chugging along here and I'm gonna see if I can find something else questions wise hmm now it's always so funny and be like oh I don't know what to talk about when I do um whip and chats everyone's like I don't know um, one of the people that I watch frequently is Diamond Paintings by Laura, and, uh, she loves doing, uh, these tag questions whenever she has a whip and chat, because similarly to me, I have no idea what to talk about once I put the camera on. I completely lose track of who I am as a person. So I need to be prompted on what to talk about. So I did find another one. This first question on this new one is, what's your favorite Christmas movie? And I'm torn between Elf because, oh my gosh, that is just so funny. And unpopular opinion, but Polar Express. Um, I know a lot of people talk about how they find the animation of Polar Express to be creepy. Um, it's... I forget what the term for the, like, realistic but not close enough to... Like, close enough that you think, wow, that's really realistic, but also not close enough that your brain goes, that's animated. If that makes any sense. Um, there's a, a word for it. I'm sure someone is putting it in the comments below being like, nope, that's what it's called. Um, but if you did not know, Tom Hanks played like pretty much everybody in that movie. Like minus the <laughs> the African-American girl, and I 
think the the kid in the yellow PJs, the annoying one, uh, he played the main character, he played the hobo, he played the conductor, he played Santa. Um, so I just think that's amazing that you can have that much of a talent range. But also, my favorite Christmas song of all time, Believe, by Josh Groban, is in that movie. And I believe he wrote that song for that movie, so that's another reason why I hold it so close to my heart, is that song. Um, okay, so next question is, are you on the naughty or the nice list? Um, I'd like to think I'm on the nice list. Um, I'm definitely not a terrible person, but they're, it's kind of funny, I'm looking at the screen where this is written, but, like, <laughs> this person is like, nice, of course, although I'm sure there have been a couple of naughty moments, aka too much swearing, um, which I can totally relate to. <laughs> um, I do try to limit my language as much as I can because um, I know that I'm around uh, kids a good chunk of the time uh, but it is hard because husband being in the military means that all of his friends swear all the time and sometimes it just comes out so we're gonna we're gonna ride with the same answer that that person did. Uh, we're on the nice list, but there were a few little naughty moments. Um, the third question on here is where do you sh where do you usually spend your holidays? And that kind of changes. Most years we're with my family, but this year we will spend with uh, my husband's family. And then we're trying to figure out the, the holiday rotation because I don't want to always do Thanksgiving with my family and Christmas with his or vice versa. So we need to figure out a good schedule for um, which holiday we do when and where. It, it does make it harder that he's in the military, that he only has so much leave he can take for different times of the year. So that plays a big role in where we are. But for the most part, uh, we're either with my family or with his for Christmas. Um, yeah. Next question is, what's your favorite Christmas song? I already answered this, Believe by Josh Groban, so I'm just going to scooch you down. When do you open Christmas presents? Um, our, I said our, my family tradition is every Christmas my mom buys me and my siblings a new pair of PJs, <coughs> excuse me. We get to open the those PJs on Christmas Eve. We wear those PJs to bed on Christmas Eve. And then Christmas Day in the morning is when we open our presents. Um, it has definitely gotten more lax over the years. Like, uh, when we were younger would be up at like five in the morning, four in the morning, crazy times to then wake up our parents and uh, try to have them come downstairs so we could open presents at crazy o'clock in the morning. But they usually limited us when we were younger saying you have to wait until I think it was about 6 30 in the morning that they said that we had to wait until um and I remember sitting on the floor watching the digital clock 
just waiting and waiting and waiting for uh, the clock to strike 6.30 so we could go and wake up our parents and open our gifts. Um, now, it's definitely a lot more chill because we're older, um, all of us want to sleep in anyways, um, and we're at that point in our lives where the, the Santa magic has worn off a bit, so we're not as like, oh my gosh, Santa, but the sentiment's still there. We still, we still think about the the idea of Christmas joy that Saint Nick Saint Nick brings and that's that's one thing that I do appreciate the the Santa story idea for. So that is number two. Let's check and see where we're at time wise. Cool. Um these in a bag. I'll we'll open up three. I'd love to hear from you all as well. If there are any questions that you feel like you don't get to answer very often or you haven't thought about in a long time or just like I want to share that because my my family did something interesting when it comes to that whatever it is um I'd love to hear different traditions and things because obviously I have my family traditions my husband has his family traditions and we're trying to put together our own family traditions as we go forward so I'd love to hear some of what you all do question is what was your best ever Christmas gift um, okay so this is gonna sound silly when I was maybe 10 I may have been younger than that I wanted a Thrillville which is a game similar to Roller Coaster Tycoon, um, and I asked for it every time we went to the store for months. Um, my parents always said no, that it was too expensive. Um, and I would agree. Looking back on it now, it was you know like. $59.99 for three discs of download and I was an ADHD kid who could not keep an interest in one thing for very long so I completely understand where they were coming from. We get to Christmas and it's one of the the last things that I'm opening. Actually I'm pretty sure that my parents like <laughs> told me not to open it until last because um, my reaction to opening Thrillville was to run into the other room and scream like um, I, not like bloody murder because I wasn't upset but oh my gosh I was so thrilled and I came back and <laughs> my whole family so this is like my my mom's parents and I think my mom's brother and his wife and my cousins were with us this year too and they're all looking at me like what 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 did you get and I'm like trying to explain what this computer game is to a bunch of older people and it's not going too well and they were all just really happy for me like oh that's awesome that's that's exciting and 
I feel ridiculous saying that I downloaded that game and I played it a whopping maybe four times. It wasn't everything that I thought it was going to be, which is disappointing, obviously. But at the same time, I still feel like that is such a such a vivid memory in my mind of getting to open Thrillville that I will say it was my my best Christmas gift ever. Um, following up with that, what's, what's the worst gift you've ever gotten for Christmas? Um, I, that feels like a loaded question because I don't think I've ever gotten anything for Christmas that I've been like disappointed to get. There definitely have been like clothing items that I've gotten that I haven't loved loved but there hasn't been anything where I have blatantly been like I don't like this. Take this away from me. Um, there was a, a phase of my life where um, my mom, all she wanted to dress me in was turtlenecks, and I hated turtlenecks. Like, obviously, I'm, I'm at a point in my life where I have self-diagnosed with, um, ADHD, and I think I might be on the spectrum as well, but that feeling of having something around my neck was just like the end of the world. So there was a couple of turtlenecks that I got that I just couldn't stand. Um, a couple of like corduroys pants. That was another texture that um, I had a lot of clothing wise and I did not love it. But for the most part, there was nothing that I hated or would say is my worst, worst gift. Just things that I probably wouldn't have chosen for myself, but I still appreciated them nonetheless. Um, what is next? Okay, next one is real or fake Christmas tree. We kind of talked about that already. Um, ooh, favorite Christmas food? Um, hmm. um, I don't really know if I have one. I definitely have more, like, Christmas dessert favorites because... That's that's ten that tends to be where we focus our attention, Christmas food wise. Um, our Christmas dinner, um, we usually have um, lasagna on Christmas Eve, and Christmas Day is a little bit more relaxed than maybe some people's. I don't know. Um, Christmas dessert wise though I always make a peppermint cheesecake um, and I love you know cookies and stuff probably snickerdoodles is one of my favorite cookies I'm trying to perfect a, a chocolate chip cookie recipe um, there's a couple that I have followed that I haven't gotten quite right I think just like baking time, I'm always off. I feel like they need to bake longer and they, you know, when you take them out, they're like, oh, they're not done. And then you end up putting them in for a little bit longer and then they get it, end up getting overbaked. So I need to try and figure that out. Uh, but Christmas food, nothing really stands out besides the the cheesecake and the cookies. So, um, 
Next question on here. Do you prefer the giving or receiving of gifts at Christmas? Um, I'm going to say both to this one because um, I do love giving people gifts. That is part of um, the empathetic and like looking out for people part of my heart. But I do... I do love get, getting gifts as well. Um, the one thing that I will say has gotten harder over the years um, is finding gifts that uh, the people in my life will enjoy, use, cherish, um, all of those things because you know, as we've gotten older we've accumulated more stuff, um, it's harder to find things to buy that we don't already have or um, that we'll actually use. Um, I know in the last couple of years um, I've asked for like super practical stuff like the highlight Christmas present in the last couple of years has been my parents buying me a vacuum cleaner. So. I feel like that's the, the point that you know that you're old <laughs> when you start asking for home appliances for Christmas and getting them makes you very excited. <laughs> so that's that one. Next question, Christmas shopping online or on the street? both. Um, it's hard when you are traveling for Christmas to shop in person because then you have to travel with the gifts. Um, so for the most part, gifts for people when we're traveling somewhere usually are bought online. And then we ship it to wherever we're having Christmas and put our name on it or my name or whoever it is um, so that we can then just wrap it when we get to our destination. But when we are in person and not traveling, you know, by plane or whatever, um, I tend to shop. Uh, in person and have those gifts ready to travel with. So, um, a little bit of both on that one. Uh, do you go to church at Christmas? Yes. Um, I tend to not talk religion too much on this channel. Um, I am Catholic, so I do go to Mass on Christmas. Um, it will be interesting see what happens this year since my husband's family is not religious so I might just have to ask my husband to go with me uh, to Christmas Eve mass I'm thinking if we go um, late at night on Christmas Eve um, that we can just get it um, over with and we don't have to worry about it on Christmas Day. So next question, have you ever had a white Christmas? We talked about that in the last tag. Do you ever do anything for charity over the Christmas period? I haven't in recent years, but when I was younger, um, we as a elementary school would participate in uh, giving at Seven Loaves, which is a food pantry in the town that I grew up in. So we would help pack um, like care bundles for uh, Christmas dinners and a lot of times they had one of those like giving trees as well so if you were 
in a certain like tax bracket or something or if you had a minimum income or something I don't remember the um, the way that it worked but basically families could ask to have their kids Christmas wishes put on this tree you would go in you would pull a tag you would buy what the child wants you would wrap it bring it back with the tag on it so that those kids also could get um, the things that they wanted for Christmas um, even if their families weren't able to purchase them themselves and I remember my mom always um, taking at least one of those tags and buying Christmas presents for another child as well which obviously is something that I would like to continue doing but right now our financial situation makes it so that um, we can pretty much support ourselves and um, at some point we will we will get to the point where we can help take care of others um, but right now we are doing what we can so uh, next question if you have children what age were they I don't have kids so we're gonna skip that one who decorates your Christmas tree in your house? When does it go up? I kind of talked about that in the last tag, but um, when it's me and my husband here, we're decorating our tree together, the two of us. Usually it goes up around Thanksgiving. Um, there's a good chance that my parents will um, wait to put up one of their trees uh, until we come up. Um, we're actually flying out of the uh, airport closer to my parents because it was cheaper. Uh, so we're gonna spend just a few days with them before we fly to Texas. So they might uh, have a tree for us to decorate all together. Um, not totally sure about that though, so we might do that. Um, but usually it's, you know, family all together decorating the tree, but now that I'm married, um, those traditions are probably going to change a little bit. Um, speaking of traditions, do you have any Christmas traditions you do each year? Um, yes. The PJs one, um, we tend to do every year. Um, I want to start some for my family now, my husband and I, and hopefully when we have kids. So I'd love to get some suggestions of what you all do traditions-wise that you love. Give me some ideas so that maybe I can then tweak them so that they work better for our family. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at traditions wise I'm sticking for here we're getting close to the end of these um, hopefully we can finish them out in this video um, ooh last one on here what makes Christmas magic for you um oh, that's hard I am a big fan of going and looking at Christmas lights and I think seeing just everyone so excited for something fun that's happening in the darkest and coldest part of the year, at least where I live, um, is just so, so magical. Um, sometimes it's hard to like, oh, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that because it's cold and dark, but sometimes the most magical things, like Christmas lights especially, you can only really, um, take in their full beauty when it's dark. So, um, to me, 
Christmas lights are a big magic part of Christmas. Um, I'm also a huge fan of carolers. I know I don't, I don't think I've ever actually had carolers come to our house, but I love hearing the Christmas songs and especially um, when they're sung by a choir. Um, it's just so, so fun, so magical. Um, and then I guess not to get too religious-y, um, and I know that Jesus wasn't actually born in December, but having the idea of the Savior's birth or the Savior coming to earth and having this time to celebrate what what he gave to the world is also um, a special part of this time of year. So that I'm, I did two tags, two Christmas tags, and I got a good chunk of the way through these little these little guys. Um, I'm going to put on some music right now and speed this up so that you guys can finish watching these get done but that I don't have to talk anymore. So we will check back in when I'm done with these. are these fun stars and I just realized that these are actually double-sided um, which is very nice um, so when they spin around they're you know gems on both sides but I'm only gonna do these one sides for you today so here's the last gem on the here the star on top of this tree I'm turn it so it's a little bit straighter cute. Alright, and we will stick these back in the bag. And here are the three ornaments that I worked on today. There's the gingerbread, the tree and the snowman and I want to thank you all for hanging out with me for this hour um, and listening to me talk about my favorite Christmas things and stuff that we do and um, how we celebrate and I'd love to hear how you all celebrate as well um, let me know you know, if you're working on anything fun for the holidays, or if you have any plans, um, uh, just, you know, let me know what y'all are up to. Um, and thanks again for watching, um, and I will talk to you in the next one.
Bye, everybody. I ran away with my life fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind.